many seasoned Excel users who have been using spreadsheets for years still scroll through their spreadsheets laboriously through horizontal and, and vertical scroll bars to get and reach different parts of their large spreadsheets. And they're always surprised when I teach them these quick few navigation tips in Microsoft Excel. They know how to do formulas in the formula bar, but besides looking at the location of a potential cell or a group of cells, they pretty much ignore the name box here on the left-hand side of the formula bar. And it can actually be very, very powerful. If I want to move to maybe location CV3030, instead of having to scroll to that location, I can type it in this name box, hit enter, and immediately I am transported to CV3030. A real simple, easy way to get to almost any location on your spreadsheet. Works very well if you know the location of that cell. Now if you need to get back home quickly, back to the beginning of your spreadsheet, that is done with a keyboard combination of Control plus Home will automatically take you to the first cell in your spreadsheet. Now we can go back to that CV3030 and we're going to use a function called the naming function that Excel has had part of Microsoft Excel since 1995 and it may even be before that, that's just when I discovered it. Here is what you can do. Here on this where I've got CV3030, instead of having to remember that's the cell I want to get to, now that that cell's highlighted I can click in the name box up here and I can just type in wow and hit enter. Now if I go back control home to get back to the beginning of my spreadsheet and if I want to get to the place where I just named I now have a little drop down list here on the name box. I can click it choose wow and it immediately gets me to CV3030. Prior to recording this tip I also named a few more cells in this large spreadsheet and if I click in the drop-down box here, you'll see I see one that I named Lost. If I click it, it immediately transported me not to just another location on my sheet, but to a whole, or onto that particular sheet, but to a whole nother sheet. I'm now on sheet three, cell number CN7509. So when I name a location in a workbook, I can be on any one of the spreadsheets that I've already created in that workbook. Very, very easy to do. Now if I click in this drop down again, I can click WTF and sure enough there it transformed me back to sheet one location EJ through EJ1865 through EK1867. So you can name a range as well as an individual cell when you are doing the naming. So if I want to name an entire range of cells I can do that as well. So I'll select a range here and then I'll come up in the name box and I will replace the location which is the first cell selected with the range of cells that I want to name there. Now the only thing you can't use is spaces in the name. So this one I'll put Tom's Pay Record. And now you'll see that it added it to my list of names here. So if you are a IT person in a large company and you see people struggling with their Excel spreadsheets, remember to share this tip with them and they will be most duly impressed. Or if you yourself have not ever used it, give it a try. I think you'll find working with large cumbersome spreadsheets gets a lot easier.